Well, Chairman Harkin and uh, Ranking Member Alexander, Barbara and I both thank you for uh, your support, your willingness, and, and more importantly, Tom, for the leash that you gave us that was uh, mighty long, uh, because had we not had it, we wouldn't be at this point. Many reporters around the room have asked me, how did we get here? Well, I partner with somebody as tenacious as Barbara Mikulski, and uh, people get out of her way, and they take her seriously, and she said at the beginning, this is not an exercise. I want a bill. I want to get across the goal line. Too many people have talked about it, but none have done it, and we're going to do it. So I had a great partner in, in Barbara doing this. It, it makes me wonder when she says that she's got 17,000 uh, uh, vouchers that are in Maryland, uh, why, this, why she's so passionate on it. I have 74,000 in North Carolina and 1.6 million families around this country that benefit from this. How do they benefit? They benefit because now parents can choose to work an extra shift, can work overtime, and know that they're not going to be penalized because of a snapshot in their income where they lose a child care credit or a child care voucher because of that bump up temporarily in income. It allows them to continue educational needs and make sure that their children are taken care of. It gives them the assurance when they drop their kids off that those individuals that they have left them with are high quality, that the facility is safe. More importantly, that there's not a child care person there that's committed a severe felony because for the first time will require background checks to call out people who might fall into that category. To Barbara and I, this made common sense. A lot's changed since 1996, and we realize that. And we've tried to incorporate it in this bill, but to do it in a way that's manageable, and as Barbara said, uh, not uh, a burdensome. And I think what we've done is we have provided states a tool that, in fact, they will utilize uh, for any federally supplied uh, voucher monies that come. Overall, I, can, I believe we can be proud of this legislation because it stays true to the original principles in the 1996 welfare reform of encouraging employment, providing choice through vouchers, with maximum state flexibility on how children are served throughout our nation. Of particular importance uh, to me uh, is the background check. And I think most parents would agree that this is an important step at reassuring our parents that their kids are in a safe environment surrounded by individuals that are there to nurture them and not to exploit them. So I thank my partners in this and I, I, I truly do thank Barbara Mikulski. We would not be here if it wasn't for her. <coughs>